Hello kids, happy morning to all of you. I hope that all of you are doing excellent from your end. And uh, as I promised last time that I will be back with one more revision chapter. So today I am back with chapter 12 and the topic of the chapter is natural disaster. So beta, before starting a revision of this chapter deeply, I would like you, I would like to tell you the meaning of disaster first. Actually, uh, the word disaster means to destroy. Hmm. Like uh, when some mishappening is there, due to that mishappening or actions, everything get destroyed. That is called disaster it is equal to a tremor so these disasters are brought by uh, sometimes it is um, created or brought by the nature these are called natural disasters and some are created by other uh, external sources that is different but today we are going to read about the natural disaster so when uh, nature creates any disturbance or if there is any misbalance or disturbance in the nature or this disturbance when created by the nature due to the natural forces that is called natural disaster and beta uh, you all know very well that natural activities are beyond human hands natural activities are beyond control of human being we cannot control any natural activities fine suppose if sun is rising so we cannot control on that if sun sets that also beyond control of the human being if rain is falling that will fall because we cannot put our command on the falling of the rain if wind is blowing definitely it will blow so we cannot suppose being a human being to control these natural activities howsoever we are advanced or uh, means brilliant or means still there are uh, nothing has been found to put control on these natural activities so these are beyond our control fine so these natural activities are sometimes very dangerous and these are sometimes means very hyper that it can cause disaster and brings fatal to the human being fine so let's see see that how many kinds of natural disasters are there types uh, what is disasters i have told you now next is types of disaster so there are some common uh, names of there are some names of some uh, common natural disaster first is earthquake cyclone tsunami drought flood and uh, these are uh, that kind of uh, natural disaster which commonly happens and each and every natural disaster must be uh, means uh, like uh, we should follow safety measures whenever we are facing any kind of natural disasters fine so these are called safety measures safety measures means ki that precautions or those steps which we take when we feel the uh, preliminary uh, information about these natural disasters or after the happening of these natural disasters because some natural disasters are predictable and some are not so when we feel any kind of such a tremor when we get news of these natural disaster by government or any broadcasting system then we should have precautions and if there is any sudden kind of natural disaster then definitely we must have some basic requirements at our, at our home basic helping tools at our home i am talking about first aid yes first aid is that immediate uh, healing container which is very helpful to a patient or any person who is victim of any kind of happening fine so immediately relief can be given for few uh, for some time but later on doctor's advice or medical treatment is very much required so we must keep first aid box at our home fine now uh, let's talk about what is Richter scale Richter scale is that a tool which is instrument which is used to measure intensity of an earthquake 
yes earthquake means that sudden uh, uh, shaking of the earth when earth starts to shake vibrate uh, unusually ha na so that intensity sometimes is very of low quality and sometimes it is of very high intensity sometimes earthquake is very of very low intensity and sometimes it is of very high intensity so to measure the intensity of the earthquake richter scale is a an instrument which is required to measure its intensity because on the intensity of the earthquake depends that how uh, uh, how much fatal brought by the earthquake fine so if suppose this is the scale huh? 0 to 9 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 
uh, on a special instrument that is called Richter scale. Fine. Fourth number. Some earthquake can create rift. Yes. What is rift? Rift is rift means that breakage between a land portion suppose this is a complete land surface area due to any external attack or any heavy load that land has been little bit slightly uh, divided that is called rift jisko hum hindi mein darar kehte hain that is called rift a slight uh, breakage between a land surface area so these are some miscellaneous fill in the blanks please write down in your notebook now fifth number a seismic zone is an area where is high risk of earthquake what does it mean it means that seismic zone is an area yes the uh, an area which is uh, with uh, um, uh, sorry an area which is uh, uh, quite uh, sure to have frequent earthquake fine where uh, means like uh, numbers of volcanoes are there and that area which is very acute to have frequent earthquake that is called seismic zone that continuous earthquakes can be felt in that area fine so that area is known as seismic zone dash r violent storms which causes damage in coastal areas yes dash are violent storms what is it is cyclone what is cyclone cyclones are violent violent means that very uh, means which is which are uh, out of control hai na so these are very uh, aggressive we can say or we can say that violent waves violent uh, uh, storms which causes damage in coastal areas see beta india's southern part is like this v shape and these are two coastal areas when the water bodies are surrounding nearby these areas fine so the part which is the part portion of the land its one side is attached with the water bodies that is called coastal area so these coastal areas eastern coastal areas and the western coastal areas these are two coastal areas which are uh, means uh, where cyclone frequently attacks okay so cyclones are violent storms which can cause damage in coastal areas next is cyclones are also called hurricanes yes what is the another name of uh, cyclone cyclones another name is hurricanes or we can say typhoon also okay next is when a region receives very less or no rain fall it 
causes what does it cause actually uh, like in my last video i have already explained that any area any reason which receives very less rainfall or sometimes there is no rainfall throughout the year that area is known that uh, situation what the situation occur is called drought yes d r o u g h t yes this is the situation which is named drought it is a situation where there is very less rainfall or no rainfall please write down these fill ups in the notebook next one is dash of animals should be restricted yes what should be restricted at the part of animals like uh, animals grazing yes grazing of animals should be restricted that should be means minimize slowly slowly it should be minimized because over grazing by the animals may harm greeneries next is dash waves are destructive waves okay which waves are known as destructive waves uh, tidal waves yes tidal waves these are known as destructive waves because these waves are carrying destroying properties with it a dash occurs when land masses collapse okay so dash occurs when land masses collapse what happens when land masses actually collapses collides with each other when land masses collapse each other it causes land slide yes like uh, slipping of land just a slide of land it can cause by the collapsing of land masses yes next is a mountain with an opening is called yes now to see that suppose this is a mountain hmm. on a surface of it there is a mountain and uh, so actually mountains are supposed to have a peak this point this mouth which is closed this is called peak okay the top very top most point of the mountain but when this mountain have its mouth okay when there is no peak when there is an open mouth because this has something inside its center so this open mouth when the mountain have its mouth that is called volcano it means ki there is some stuff inside this volcano and this was stuff is getting heated slowly 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 and year after year year after year lastly it is bursting bursting means ki at beneath this level there are numbers of minerals means melting inside its body and slowly slowly due to the heat which is rising throughout this point and it is finding the way somehow 
on the zigzag zigzag way from any other way this is this gas is releasing from the bottom of this volcano and it is trying to find the way to come out of it so slowly 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 it is reaching the mouth and it is bursting like anything so the content or the substance which is coming out of the mountain that is called lava this is the red hot molten liquid substance which is coming out of the mouth of this uh, volcano and this mouth is named as vent yes the opening the the opening of the mountain is called crater or vent please remember these uh, extra things because in your exam it may be it might be asked because these things you have to keep in your mind retain very well so you have to watch my video very very carefully with rapt attention attention to so the red hot molten substance which comes out of the bottom of this volcano that is called lava and the point the mouth of the volcano this is called vent or crater and when the, this red hot molten lava get cool spread here and there like a liquid substance huh? when it is spreading here and there and it is getting cooler so slowly slowly it is turning into black color okay slowly slowly it is turning into black color it is very hot and it is very dangerous too so where i was talking i was talking about a mountain with an opening is called volcano fine next is the hot molten matter inside a volcano is called lava okay so this you please keep um, just write in your notebook now uh, just before ending this revision uh, revision of this chapter again i would like to attract your mind towards the types of natural disaster just by briefing its meaning so let's we have a glance on it what is an earthquake so the first natural disasters name is earthquake yeah so very quickly i am giving you a short short description about each and all natural disasters all about so first one is an earthquake what is an earthquake sudden shaking of the earth sudden disturbance inside the earth's surface inside the earth's surface due to the movement of the tectonic plates is called earth Wait, fine this is very dangerous and sometimes it can collapse building collapse uh, root out um, electrical port, poles huh? and it can cause death of the human beings too so this is very dangerous second is flood what is flood flood means that excessive rainfall when uh, the barriers are broken due to the heavy force of the water that uh, that situation is means beyond the control of human being too so that situation can like uh, can create that flow of water inside the city or home inside the home of the people so these are very dangerous and after this uh, post flood situation that is more dangerous because that can create lots of water borne diseases so this is all about the flood and third is drought drought is completely opposite of flood because drought is that situation when there is less rainfall or no rainfall and sometimes it can cause the condition of starving because of lack of food fourth is tsunami tsunami means ki damage due to the heavy tidal waves fourth is that cyclone cyclone means that uh, very uh, violent kind of storms that uh, attacking the coastal areas fifth is uh, sorry sixth is volcanic eruption volcanic eruption just few minutes back i have explained you when a mountain have its own uh, opening or vent then Uh, the stuff which is which was hidden inside the which was hidden inside the bottom of the mountain that turns into the liquid and 
after a long process it comes out of the mouth of the crater then it's turn it comes out as a lava and lava turns into magma volcano eruption actually volcanoes are of three types extinct volcano active volcano and dormant volcano so when volcanic eruption takes place it can also cause damage of human life and natural properties too so this is all about the natural disasters chapter i hope that we have done very good revision this time and still you have any queries i uh, think that there is no question uh, no question should be remaining to ask but still if you have any uh, genius question in your mind you can ask me in the comment section and i would like to hear you and i would like to solve your problem so again i will be back with one more revision chapter till then have a nice day